another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, I want to get into this match from Italy card, which was actually a really, really good card. Again, just like Thursday night's fights, I'm not sure how many of you all watched it. Um, but this match from Italy card was really good. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, uh, quick hits comes at you every day. We're bringing you a show every day. Again, I know there's been a lot of time off, but we're going to try to bring you a show every single day. Uh, we got plenty of a- a- boxing action. Uh, but today, uh, but, and also please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is National Autism Awareness Month. So that is near and dear to our heart. All right. Let's get into this uh, Matchroom Italy card, which was actually, like I said, a a, a really Good card. It was headlined by 26-year-old Ivan Zuko. Look, if it's been a while. Um, you know, I, I know Gaddy fought for uh Canada in the Olympics, born in Italy, raised in Italy, moved to Canada, um to be a part of their amateur program. But um, it's been a while since there's a you know, so Italian born national champion. Well, I guess well Malinaji lives in Italy. I don't think he was born there, but he lived there for a while. Um, if there's going to be one soon, if there's going to be one at some point, it's going to be Ivan Zuko. Um, six foot tall, almost six one, super middleweight, southpaw, heavy handed, heavy fisted. Um, really, really, really excellent performance um, against a, a, a quality opponent in Marco Nikolic, uh, 28 and one. Didn't have the deepest resume, but not a bad fighter. Um, not, not, a, not, not terrible by, by any means. Um, you know, he's in there, he did his thing. He's, he's okay. Uh, but there's something here. And I, I don't know that I'm going to do a scouting report on, on Zuko. He was a prospect of the month, um, a while back. He's a good looking, good looking prospect. Um, really he's not the most athletic, um, and he's, but he's got good footwork. Like he's good on his feet for a, a guy that's not a great mover. You know that's not really quick. Um, he's got excellent timing. He he likes to come forward. He's really really strong. Um, he's he's heavy. He's heavy handed. He's physically freakishly strong, and he likes to come forward. But he also is a good counter puncher, specifically with the left hook, which looks awkward. But he has really really good timing on it. Right. So his footwork is good. His timing is really good. There's a lot to like about him. There's a lot of things he does really well. And then obviously there's the power. Um, you know, uh, he he's he's won all but you know two fights by knockout. Um, all of his recent fights, um, he he's won. He, his last. He's won one, two, three, four, five, six, six fights in a row by knockout. 16 0, 14 knockouts. And you can see the power. Everything he throws is hard. Um, you know, and, and you know, after a pretty uneventful first round where he was winning with the jab, you know, and, and then a couple of left hands behind it, um, he got rocked right before the end of the first round with an uppercut, um, a right uppercut um, by uh, Nikolic. He bounced back from it, came back in the second round. Blew him out in the second round, landed a massive left hand that dropped him, got up, went to the body, went to the head, uh, got Nicholas out of there uh, j- just before the midway point of the second round. It was really, really a good performance. It was good to see his, his chin tested, his chin passed the test, uh, but he got rocked with an uppercut. It was a big shot he got hit with. Um, you know, he does lean in a bit. There's things he does wrong, so that's why the, the scouting report, which we're going to do sometime in the near future on um, – on, um, 3D Boxing Blog, so check that out when, when it's up. Um, but there's a lot of good things here with Nicholas. Um, if, if there's going to be an Italian world champion in the in, in, you know, in this kind of crop of fighters, it's going to be this kid. I, I don't think Turkey is going to get there, and then we can get to the older guys. They're not going to become world champions. Uh, but at 168 pounds, Zuko's the real deal. Um, on the undercard, you had Mirko Natalizzi, um, 11-0. 154 pounder looks good. You know, he got rid of Rico, R- R- Rico Mueller, pretty dominant fashion. 
Um, not much to, to write home about. I mean, it was, it was a kind of an uneventful fight where Mirko just kind of dominated the fight. Uh, and then before that, you had uh, Francisco Grandelli, who took a really, really interesting fight. A really interesting fight with, with Kane Baker. Um, Kane, Kane Baker is from uh, the UK. Um, really interesting fight. Uh, you know, if Baker could hit, which he can't, he'd be a good fighter. Unfortunately, he can't hit. Um, but Grandelli, you know, sees the day, scored some knockdowns, got, you know, um, look, looked like he was in trouble for, for a moment, but, you know, but su- survived um, and, and, and advanced on. Uh, but really, you got three pretty good Italian prospects, too. Um, I, I think we're going to do just fine at the European level. One. Zuko, who is going to get a shot at the world level. He, he's going to win some fights. He's, you know, the, the fight he won today was for, uh, what was it called? The WBC International Super Bowl title. So he's going to be in the top 15, you would think, right? Somewhere in the top 15. He's going to keep winning. He's going to keep blowing people out with his power and his strength. He's, you know, like I said, his timing is good. He's not just a puncher. Uh, he's a good counter puncher when he, when he wants to be. Um, there's a lot to him. So he's going to be ranked in the top 15. He's going to get a shot. At, at a world level fight, what he does with it, we're gonna see. We're gonna find out, right? Uh, I mean, it, it's hard to tell against this level of opposition how he's gonna do with top fifteen guys. Um, but he's got a shot. You know, there's a lot of tools there. There's, there's a lot to like about him. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, it was really, really interesting card. Um, I, I think Ivan Zuko is definitely a guy you want to watch for at 168 pounds. Um, you know what you guys think? Did you guys watch the fight? Did anyone watch the match from Italy card? If you didn't, if you did, let me know. I, I'm assuming most of y'all didn't watch it. You guys don't know, you know, obviously not just a uh, Texan, which I am, also a first generation Italian immigrant. Uh, first generation, yeah, first generation. Uh, I speak some Italian. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um. Like I said, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, all from social media. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, and it is Autism Awareness Month. Uh, it is April 22nd, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.